Hey guys, welcome to see the channel. I'm Jessica from Seed. This is Aiden. Hi, I'm Aiden. I'm the product manager in Seed. Oh, Aiden. So do you know we just posted our first Seed weekend show last week? I think the performance is pretty great. Yeah. So we decided to move on and taking our second video. So Aiden, what we have today? Well, at first we got this uh, new Groove PR motion sensor. Mm -hmm. uh, we can use PR motion sensor to detect the movement of human. Uh, we have a little demo. Uh, in this demo, we use the wild terminal. Uh, we just need to turn on the wild terminal. And when I move my hands over the PR sensor, it will trigger the sound. Okay, that's how it works. We will shut down the terminal. Oh, Aiden, I'm pretty sure we had a many kinds of PI sensor in the already, right? Uh, yes, we have about five or six PI modules. So what's the difference between them? Mm, well, this new PI sensor is in a small size and with a more reasonable price. Most important, this new group PI sensor uh, have a wider detector range. Um, basically, it can detect about 3 to 12 meters, so it is very suitable for the long distance applications. Mm, well, that's all about this PR sensor. Oh, that's great. So, what's next? Next, we've got a pretty cool module. Uh, this is a, a Groove Doppler reader. Uh, this reader can detect the movement of an object. Wait, Aiden. What's the difference between this one and the PIO sensor? Oh, good question. Mm. Uh, the double reader is based on the 24 gigahertz uh, millimeter wave. So it is much more accurate. And the PIO sensor is a high temperature uh, dependent. So it has a narrow temperature range, but this one, it has a very wide temperature range, so you can use it in more environments and applications. Most important, uh, the PR sensor can only detect the movement of human or animal, but this module, it can detect the movement um, of almost anything. Wow, sounds pretty great. Yes, it's, it's really, really a great module, um, but unfortunately, um, for the Doppler the algorithm is very important, yes. um, but currently we only provide a, a very basic software library and a simple demo which can detect uh, whether an object is uh, nearby mm -hmm. or far away or exists. Um, to uh, get 100% power of this module, you need to do some more uh, algorithm work. So. Um, for engineer um, or programmer, uh, scientist, this module will be very, very powerful in your hands. Um, it even can detect the um, rise and fall of human chest when you breathe. Wow, sounds great. Yeah. Okay, um, what's next up? Well, next we've got this M.2. To PCIe 3, 16 channel extension cable. Later, what's the cable for? Uh, well, Jessica, uh, as we know, the external GPU is much more powerful than the integrated GPU. Yes. Um, but there are lots of laptops and single board computers um, only have integrated GPUs. So, with this cable, uh, these laptops and single board computers um, can play with. Uh, the much powerful external GPUs. Mm -hmm. Well, we've got uh, NVIDIA GPU and our uh, Odyssey X86 um, board here. Yes. Um, first, we plug this GPU to the PCI slot and then we just need to um, plug this. Two slots. Well, 
Is that it? Uh, well, actually, uh, one of our KOL have already um, played the NVIDIA GTX uh, 1650 with this Odyssey board. Um, it's pretty cool to play a 3D game like the GTA 5 with a single computer. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think it's very pretty good for the gamer. Right? Yeah. Well, that's all the new content this week. For the next, we have some updates and information for the new product, right? Yes, some news. What's the first one information? Well, first we've got uh, we've got the well, terminal. Uh, we we got the telex certification for Japan this week. Telex certification. Wow, Aiden, so you know, actually this news is my favorite news today. You know, I take charge of the Japanese marketing. Well, I say hello to Japanese friend. Okay. Um, Konnichiwa. あの、今日はね、ようやくすごくいいニュースが出てきましたので、このワールドミノはね、あの、ようやくテレビ認証が出てきましたので、ぜひぜひ皆様お試しくださいね。あの、ちょっと。That's that's must be something. Well, it's a kind of news about World Terminal that uh we've updated the firmware of uh World Terminal. Um so we've uh we've got a more um, better, uh, way more stable uh, HTTPS connection. Mm -hmm. uh, that's all about well terminal. Wow, that's pretty great. Okay, next up. Well, next, next we've got news about Siduno Xiao. Oh, Aiden, I actually love this uh, device because it's selling very, very great. Rent, my friend also asked me how to do the pronunciation for Xiao. Also, uh, actually, uh, Xiao pronounce Xiao, Xi Xiao Xiao, uh, the means of small in Chinese. Yes, uh, small, actually the smallest Siduno in um, seat. Well, let's go back to the news. Um, first, we've uh, add the PCB library uh, in KiCad, so mm -hmm. users can um, use this library in your own uh, design very easily and conveniently. And uh, the second news is that we've made, uh, we are going to make this groove shield for Situ Mesha. Jessica, do you know how many groove modules we have? I think over 300 right? Yeah, it's over 300, which means there's over 300 group modules are available for Situ Xiao now. So I think it's really um, a, a great news. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, that's about Situ Xiao. Okay, let's up. We have another news for the Odyssey STM uh, Supreme 2 board. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forget the port. Oh, you totally forget it? Well, this is a uh, Odyssey SM32 port. Well, this week we complete the group library for this board. So, again, over 300 group modules is available for this. SM32 board. Okay, that's all the news this week. I think we forgot one thing about the uh, Nano, right? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, people love Chess Nano. Yeah. So we want to make a shield for Chess Nano. But we want to hear your voice. We always want to hear your voice. So please help us to a little away just um, below this video. Thank you. So thank you so much. So thank you for listening. Today it's our all the information we want to show you. So um, look forward to the next video for the next week. Bye. Okay, bye bye.